Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference in the gym, and here's why. I posted this tweet and then made a poll about it on Instagram about a week ago. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Go follow me there if you don't already. I initially said it jokingly, but it seemed to resonate with you guys based on the results. So I kept thinking, why does something as small as putting your hood on make such a difference in mood? Why have so many people had that same experience? Here's what I think. In my experience, when I put on my hood, it blocks out some of my vision. I can only see what's directly in front of me. That's all growing in the gym is, tackling what's right in front of you. Putting your hood on is a physical gesture of flipping that switch from, we're just having fun and messing around, to I'm here to destroy this workout and leave different than I came. Not only does it block some of your vision, it blocks others from seeing some of you. For me, putting my hood on says, I'm not here to be seen, I'm here to work. I don't have the matching gym shark gear and perfectly quaffed hair. I'm working on H&M sweats I got 10 years ago for 13 bucks. My dad's sweater from my old elementary school. Fashion is irrelevant when I'm trying to improve my health so I'm not burdening my family later in life. That alter ego I initially joked about started to feel more like a very real side of me that only comes out during the physical challenge of a hard workout. The more I thought about it, I figured this is something I can't shake and I don't know why. In the end, I settled on blocking your vision and honing in what's right in front of you, working out for yourself instead of the approval of others, and getting in touch with the side of you that can do hard things and even seeks out those challenges is an attitude that will serve you well in the gym. Why? Because in my opinion, that is the right attitude for working out. Doing it the hard way on purpose because you know it makes you better. Doing it for you because you're the only one who truly has to live with you the rest of your life. Doing it for you so you can become whoever you want to be instead of what everyone tells you you should be. And if that attitude shifts come as easily as putting up my hood, I might even do it in the summer. I'll leave you with a quick story that shows your attitude can affect more than just your training, but the training of others. When I was managing a gym in California, a lot of the members would see me work out. One day I came in, but wasn't planning on working out. Within seconds of being there, someone asked me, you not working out today? I responded, no, how could you tell? Laughing at how odd yet spot on the question was. They responded, your whole mood and attitude is different. You seem more relaxed. If other people can feel when you're ready to work and when you're ready to rest, how can you not achieve everything you set your intention to? How can you fail when your attitude has already set you up for success? I hope you found something helpful in this. And if you did, give a like, share, comment, or follow. Get in the gym, have fun, work hard, get sweaty, and as always, don't I'll see you on the next one.